Having heat advisory isn't just a concern for us. It can take a toll on our vehicles as well. Yeah, air conditioning systems in cars are working extra hard to keep cool. But as WITN's Ho Jung Ru explains, mechanics say this could lead to other complications. Vehicles are struggling in the heat with fuel like temperatures in the triple digits. Air conditioning systems are being used more frequently, with many drivers turning it all the way up. So I usually crank it on about two at in a regular temperature, but now it's about four, which is, I feel bad for my car. It's kind of rough on it, but that's what I, about extreme temps, yeah. A Greenville Auto Body Shop mechanic says during normal summer, his shop gets four to five cars a week with heat related problems. This summer, they're seeing that number every day. People considering about uh, AC not getting cooled enough, um, in which they don't understand when it's this hot. Uh, the AC system is trying to work as hard as it can. Hamilton says drivers may experience more low coolant levels and leaks with heavier use of AC. But there are some steps you can take to prevent these problems. Leave your windows cracked, um, buy the vent shades, roll your windows down so that way it wouldn't be 110 when you enter the car. Um, it would be maybe somewhere around mid 90s. Hamilton says parking in shaded areas and tinted windows could help a lot too. But most importantly, getting your car checked periodically would help detect and solve problems as soon as possible. Reporting in Greenville, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. And in hot weather like this, it's also a good idea to keep in mind metal on seat belts could be extremely hot. I'm sure we've all had that experience before, so be cautious of that as well.